Just when you thought you knew all those hidden health hazards lurking in your bathroom, we have a few more to add to your list. And the first health hazard in your bathroom we're going to talk about, it's a tool you probably use most days. And the bad part is some of you are using them in your nose to pull and pluck your nose hairs, which is terrible. Yeah. Those nose hairs are there for a reason. They're there to filter out the bacteria as you're breathing. And so what you're doing as you pull one out, you're introducing potentially bacteria into your bloodstream, which is so close to your brain and your sinuses that that is a no-no. So please, no plucking of the nose hairs. Just kind of trim them. Brain abscess. It's just not yes. worth it. Yes. But do hey. Do so what's the trim. alternative? Trim. Trim. trim your nose hairs. Trim? Do. Like, you I know, can't even imagine Your nose why. is not a Chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> the next potential problem in your bathroom, what could it be? <laughs> deodorant. What? What's the problem with the deodorant, ladies? De deodorant basically gets to the point after about six months, you notice? You just don't feel quite as fresh. Well, your body's used to it and it stops working. So you want to rotate you your deodorant. You get tolerant to your deodorant. You get tolerant to it. And then it. you need more, and like you, alcohol. Exactly. <laughs> or do, do what Travis does. On the weekends, don't wear any. <laughs> it, it really does work. So if you're not using it as much, your body doesn't get as adjusted to it, and it's not a problem. Take a really break or shift I don't wear anything. Take like, I just. Break. No I don't need no too much lemons. No. But either. it doesn't stink. You know, some people, some of us, those of us who do have shower. odors, no. Do shower. But I do like this idea of mixing it up, you're in a person, it's a good call. Yeah. And do do have all natural days. Yes, yeah, so I shower. like all natural days. <laughs> all right, so our last health hazard hanging out in your bathroom, what could it be? What could it be? Oh. cotton swabs hanging out on your counter. Ladies, you're leaving them out on your countertop. You go flush that toilet. It's like a All petri dish. All stuff jumps out of the toilet, lands on your cotton swab. So then when you're going to clean your face, you've got dirty, nasty cotton swabs. So keep them in a contained space, yes. a closed space, or in a cabinet. That's right. And do not store them on your toilet, and do not store your toothbrush anywhere near your You've already, you know, you gross me out so much with cloth. this. I've been scarred for life, he told me that last season. I have moved now my flossing thing, my water pick, everything, all the way. I mean, I almost have to go into another room now. <laughs> Just make sure those cotton swabs are well away from the toilet. Let's see what's coming up next.